Hello, I'm Alexandra with the Pungyo Techno Valley Weekly News. Here is the news from the second week of July. Hanhua Aerospace holds Compliance Week, enhancing employee law-abiding spirit. It will be held simultaneously at all Hanhua Aerospace business sites, including in Changwon, Pungyo, and Asan. Employees of subsidiaries such as Hanhua Precision Machinery, Hanhua Tech Win, and Hanhua Power Systems will also participate. Hanwha Aerospace has set the theme of this event as Law Travel in June with ESG. They prepared events under the philosophy and spirit of compliance and ESG management, such as the Compliance and ESG Slogan Contest and One Step for ESG to practice carbon dioxide reduction through walking. In addition, a compliance diagnosis kit to check for legal risks by situation along with online events were held. Hanhua Aerospace has dedicated one week in June every year since 2016 as Compliance Week to help establish a culture of compliance through various programs. Che Jun Lee, Managing Director of Hanhua Aerospace Compliance Support Team said, we will continue to strengthen our compliance with ESG activities to establish a compliance culture and enhance the law-abiding spirit among our employees. LIG Next One announced on the 29th that it had received an AA grade, the highest, in the 2022 first half ESG evaluation announced by Sust Invest, a domestic ESG evaluation agency. Sust Invest conducts ESG evaluations twice a year for listed companies, and in the first half of this year, 1,043 were classified by industry and comprehensively evaluated based on their management status, within a total of seven levels of grading. Among them, 9.8% of the companies, including LIG Next One, obtained the highest AA grade. They were the only company in the defense industry to obtain the AA grade for two years in a row. CEO Ji Chan Kim said, The efforts we have made for ESG management have been well received this year. LIG Next One will continue to put more effort into creating social value through ceaseless technological innovation and spread an ESG management culture to be the best ESG company. NCSoft published its Sustainability Management Report on the 27th, which contains efforts and commitments for sustainable management. NC released an 80-page report titled NCSoft ESG Playbook 2021 on its official website. The report, produced in a digital version, was designed as a playbook that takes advantage of the game company's own characteristics. In the report, NCSoft defined the core values of its ESG management as the right play, digital responsibility, and qualitative leap of society, and explained its key ESG achievements. The right play expounds on the company's activities to promote diversity and inclusion, thus preventing discrimination based on nationality, gender, or race. In the digital responsibility section, NCSoft described its effort to build cutting-edge information security and data privacy systems that match global standards. The qualitative leap of society is divided into three sections, environmentally friendly management, the future generation, and community. NCSoft has formed a dedicated environmental organization and stipulated its own policies for an eco-friendly management system. Kyonggi-do opening Pangyo Startup Investment Exchange. Pangyo Startup Investment Exchange will provide aid in inviting investment to promising startups via investment consultation and providing an opportunity for exchange between Pangyo 1, 2, Techno Valley startups and investors. They will support a total of 20 companies with 10 in the first round and another 10 in the second. Services such as business model investment consulting, investment relation consulting, matching investors by field for investment consultation, investment seminar participation, and follow-up support will be provided for the selected companies. Based on the date of the announcement, the target applicants are startup located in Pangyo Techno Valley, which possesses cutting edge industries and innovative technologies such as information sharing, information communication biotechnology, nanotechnology, and cultural technology. Applicants will be selected through a written evaluation for the first round and a presentation evaluation for the second. 
The results will be announced by August. Kyushik Kim, Gyeonggi Province Future Growth Policy Officer said, in a situation where it is difficult to attract investment for startups due to COVID-19, we have prepared this event to help the growth of new businesses by supporting the discovery of new investment for companies in the Pangyo 1-2 Techno Valley. We plan to revitalize the industrial ecosystem in Pangyo by supporting them through various projects. And now it's time for the quick news of the week. Nexon announced on the 28th that their content creation service platform, Project MOD, has partnered with programming education brand like Lion. This is Project MOD's first official training partner. Naver D2SF announced on the 28th that they have newly invested in two startups that are developing AI technology to improve AI performance. The startups they invested in are SqueezeBits, that is developing a lighting weight acceleration solution for AI models, and GenGen AI, that is developing an AI-based learning data creation solution. Autonomous Vehicle Pilot Operation District in Pangyo, Songnam, Gyeonggi-do, will be expanded from the existing route type to a district type. Since it will not be restricted by any routes, and the pickup location and destination can be freely set within the designated area, Various types of autonomous transportation services will be available, such as unmanned shuttles and robot taxis. That's it for the Pungyo Techno Valley Week News. I'm Alexandra, and I'll see you next week.